Hello, my name is Peter and I will be showing you today uh, the Meetop 200 food system. Uh, the included components and the parts and how it's used. Okay, first of all we have the Metop seam cutter food version. Uh, it has an open table which can take any can size from these small ones up to square. We have the pear shape, round cans of course, and up to big drums like these. We actually put it like here. We have a separate video of how this big can can be cut and big square types as well. Uh, we have the video seam computer. It contains, um, well, the PC of course, and also um, the seam inspection camera. This is the basic software. I will be showing you in a moment how it's used. This gauge here, we call it the MCG. It stands for Metop Combi Gauge. It's used for can height, countersink, and seam height. And then we have this one. This is used to check the seam thickness. And this one is to measure the plate thickness of the metal, of the body and the end. I want to add as well that both the MCG and the seam thickness gauge comes in everything from a small size to a really big size. So the foot here is uh, custom made, depends on what can size the customer have. But today I have a pretty standard sized can, food can, this is for fish. To start the test. You go here to production control, you enter how many cans, samples you want to test. Seam heads, it's named here, so you basically usually take one can from each seam head in the machine. In this case, we test one can. And this is the tolerance code, I have only entered one can here, and it's this one. What type is it? What product? This is fish. The batch code is 12, can code, can supplier, and this is the day shift, sample time, half past nine, and my name is Peter. Start the test. It first starts here with the can height, and for that we need the MCG. Put the can in place on the edge and then you press enter. Then you measure the countersink. There is a needle here that goes all the way down and then it goes to can height position number two. So you rotate the can 120 degrees in this case because it's a round can you measure the countersink and can height position number three countersink and then it goes to seam height what you do then is you turn the can upside down because you want to measure the seam height on the same side like this and then you rotate the other direction finished. So this gauge is finished and now we go to seam thickness position one, two, three. So you basically put it in like this. You turn it and you turn it. And now the outer diameter is finished. And now we're going on to cut the can in the seam saw. And now we take the, the can over here to the seam cutter. You need to put ear protection 
you push it and the saw blades are running. You basically put the can in place and you push. But this is what the can looks like after it's cut. And now after the cut, you cut off one piece from the body and one piece of metal from the end. And I have done that here before. Wow, it's a small one. From the body and the end. And we're going to check the plate thickness here with the plate thickness gauge. So plate thickness end, we start with. Like this. And plate thickness from the body. And then the software is calculating the theoretical seam thickness, in this case 1.33. The theoretical seam thickness is then compared to the actual measured seam thickness. Now the camera has started and now we're going to go on to measure the internal seam here with a video uh, seam camera. Okay, I hope you can all see. Um, this is the cut that we made before. You place it here in front of the video scene camera. And then you put the can in the position in front of the video scene camera like this. You turn it to get a good contrast. You can adjust the light. And you click on auto. And the different edges is auto detected like this. You have the end hook, overlap, and body hook. Uh, you can also adjust the lines like this. You just grab them with the mouse, you click and hold. Click enter. You take the next, next cut. And do the same. And you do this on all, all the cuts on the can. And this last parameter is wrinkles. You use the Metop seam cutter. You cut the can right like this. We have a separate video uh, showing this. You enter the value. Wrinkles or tightness. And now the test is finished. You can toggle here between the single values for measured in each point or you can look at the statistical min, mean and maximum. You can look at the graphics. You save the test and you go on to test the next can. Thank you for listening.